everybody. One of my favorite things in the world to draw is a bunch of musicians playing together. I like to draw zombies playing music and birds playing music and pigs playing music and pretty much anything playing music. I don't know why, but it's just something I really like to do. Um, and all that starts with knowing how to draw instruments. And today I'd like to show you how to draw a guitar. So I've got my paper straight up and down here. Um, guitars are very, uh, very technical. Every part on them has a reason for being there. So I'll try not to get too boring and nerdy with all my guitar knowledge. But I like to start with this kind of wavy line. This kind of guitar that I'm gonna draw is called a Fender Stratocaster. It's the kind of guitar I learned how to play on. So this kind of looks like a seal to me almost. But now from here, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna make the neck of the guitar. Just a straight line. And then you wanna draw that line again. Try to make it parallel if you can. This is the fretboard. This is where you put your fingers. At the top of this thing is what we call a headstock. A headstock is where you tune the guitar. So I put these two little outward lines here. And now I got curve around. And now this line is kind of like a question mark. It's like a little circle and then back. So that's the headstock of the guitar. Now I'll come back down here and I'll uh, finish off my guitar. Put another line out, kind of matching that one going in. Take it back in and make it kind of curvy. Now there's a trillion different kinds of guitars and they all kind of have different body shapes. So if yours doesn't look like the one I just made, that's okay. Just say, I made a new kind of guitar. All right, there's a couple things in here that are uh, that are super important for our guitar, um, but you know what? I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stop here with with my thick line and move into my thin line because a lot of the stuff on the guitar is very detailed. So I'm gonna start by drawing in the strings. Every guitar has to have strings, otherwise it won't make any noise, right? So usually guitars have six strings but I'm just gonna put in as many as I feel like it. And it looks like all I feel like putting in is three strings. And like I said, guitars are really technical. And they all, well, not all, but most have six strings. But if you're just drawing, you're just having fun here, then it doesn't matter if you have three strings or six strings or whatever. Now at the top here, there's like a little line. And at the bottom, there's another similar little line and they both kind of rectangles that are parallel from each other. This is called the bridge. It's what holds the strings in place. Okay, um, now let's put in some frets. Keeping that same kind of line, I'm just gonna go down my fretboard and draw in some frets. Now again, there's a certain number of frets, frets on every guitar, but whatever, we're just drawing. Now at the top, we have these little tuning pegs. Just teeny tiny circles. These are the things you turn to change the sound. And there's supposed to be six on there. And they each turn a tiny little thing right here called a machine head. And you're supposed to have all your strings attached to that. So there you go. That's a pretty good guitar shape. It's starting to come together here. Um, when you play the guitar, there's these two, sometimes more, two little rectangles here. These are called the pickups. And their job is to pick up the sound. They have little electronic coils in them, little magnets there that, that sense the vibrating string and turn it into sound. And you can turn those up or down depending on uh, which knob you turn. So I have a couple knobs on there. So the last thing I want to do on my guitar is draw in what's called um, a pick guard. Guitars are really nice 
pieces of wood that have been specially designed by someone who cared a lot about music. So to protect this instrument, people put on a pick guard. It's something that just kind of goes over the guitar and keeps your pick from scratching the surface of the guitar. So you could put one of these on if you want. You don't have to. It's kind of a fun line to draw. And it just kind of goes wherever you want it to go. Usually it goes under the strings. And it kind of goes up here. So something like that. That's a pick guard. And they tend to be a different color than the guitar itself. So if you want to color all this in black and then leave this white, that'll look really cool. Um, also, guitars tend to be thick, right? They have some thickness to them. So I can show that by kind of just tracing this line in here. Again, that's completely optional. But now we've got a really nice guitar. And uh, no matter what you put around it, like a turtle playing guitar or a pig or a sheep, it's going to look great. So maybe we'll tackle that in another video. Thanks very much.